Hi, this is John, your friendly NEC code interpreter. In this lesson, we're taking a close look at Article 250.22, Circuits Not to be Grounded. There are five sections to this article that span the entire code book. This article is a quick reference on what circuits shall not be grounded. Except for parts 4 and 5, the items of this article are not even vaguely related. Part 1. Circuits for electric cranes, hoists, and similar equipment that are operating in a Class 3, Division 1 or 2 environment shall not be grounded. A good example would be an electric crane that is being operated in a place that has potentially flammable dust or fibers in the air. You can find details on the classification of locations in Article 501. Part 2 actually has two items. Systems using anesthesia or other combustible gases shall not be grounded. A good example of this would be a surgical room or a dental office. You can find more details in Article 517.61. Part 2 also includes isolated power systems, which would be solar cells, wind turbines, or other systems off the grid. You can find more details on this article in 517.160. Part 3. Circuits for equipment within electrolytic cell working areas shall not be grounded. What the heck does that mean? Simply, factories that use electrolysis to make a variety of metals or produce hydrogen gas in the process are not to be grounded. A more exact definition can be found in Article 668. Part 4. Secondary circuits of lighting systems as provided in Article 411.5 Section A shall not be grounded. This would apply to something like recessed cans that use a step-down transformer or a transformer-fed low-voltage rope lighting system. Part 5. Secondary circuits of lighting systems as provided in Article 680 Point 23, section A, subsection 2, shall not be grounded. This section is very similar to part 4. Step-down transformers that power pool lights or above-ground hot tub lights have a double isolation between the primary and secondary windings shall not be grounded. That's a wrap on article 250.22, systems that are not to be grounded. You see now why the no grounding rules are condensed into one article. It keeps you from hopping all over the code book when there's no need to be overly specific. If you do need to get more technical, then you know where to look in the code book. Also note that in Article 250.22, circuits not to be grounded, it is acceptable to ground them with a grounding rod and acceptable grounding methods. That pretty much covers everything. Remember, comments are welcome. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.